picked up. We're in a core shed, in a core shed in West Australia. This is Dreadnought Resources. Guys, why I wanted to bring you this particular video is because quite often you've got no idea. You just, you know, maybe you're buying shares or you're seeing somebody at a conference, but you don't know what goes on behind the scenes, which is lots of drilling, lots of core, Lots of boxes. Lots of equipment. Lots, lots of, of toys. Lots of toys. Lots of big boys' toys. And what I would consider organized chaos. But I'm looking at all this. Lots of trays here. And how do you know what's what? I mean, if I come across here, STKAC, uh, 80 to 100. What? What does that mean? That is Strickland Air Corps. So STK is how we know what project it comes to. And okay. the second two letters after that are the type of drilling. Air Corps. So Air Corps. AC, RC if it's fine. Okay. RC if it's RC. I see. And then true. all that fits in these chip trays. So this okay. is the evidence of, of drilling that's preserved. And we keep these and see the big long rack. Every meter that we have ever drilled is stored here. And wow. so when we every get, meter you've ever drilled is, is in here. Is in this portion. Wow. And so if we want to review our drilling, we get some assays here, we're trying to figure out what something is, we can go back over the rocks, review those rocks, and get a better idea of what we're looking at. So is this all in a database? Like every single one of these is in some form of database? Right. There is a digital database. But there's nothing quite like actually looking at the rocks themselves. Can we look at some rocks? Absolutely. We can open one of these up. Oh, okay. this one's pretty, not much left in this oh, one. Oh, wow. But that's the end of the drill hole. Bit of sulfide in there. Meters 40 to 43 into fresh rock. It's an air core hole. That's where this ends. Bit of amphibolite, probably a high titanium mafic amphibolite. That was the end of this drill hole. So oh. we're trying to figure out the geology, looking for geochemistry. But this allows us to then go back and review this. So is it, now I'm not going to open it, you better open it. Um, is it always, like, because the core we saw outside, that's that, that sort of solid piece. So what do you do to get it to this? That's right. So this is air core RC drilling. This, ah. is, this is percussion drilling. So this is, you have a big drill rig, yep. it's about millions of dollars, yep. big, loud, dusty machines and they hammer the They're ground hammering. and then they blow air on the outside back up the inside that's the reverse circulation ah. and so it brings the sample up to the sample comes out a cyclone we put some into a bag send it off to the lab and we keep some through here for logging and right. preservation okay the diamond core yeah about, that's look. in these big trays okay and so while each of those small chip trays yep. holds around 20 meters of drilling right each of these holds around four wow and so we open this up. This is a hole we drilled at Chianti back in 2019. Probably getting a little rusty in there. But you look through here, we have meter marks, the depths, recovery, and you can see we've taken quarter core through this area. So that preserves another half, another quarter core for further analysis and half core for review. How, so I mean, is how important is it to keep all of these? physical specimens here because surely if you've logged it in a database that's good enough i mean are you really ever going to go back and look in some of these to be we honest? are we are here to find a partner to build these mines right or sell our discovery to a major player okay this is the audit trail this is the only thing that prevents brie x from happening got it and so, for those of you that don't know brie x was where they um they salted, the, sal sample. salted the samples and so got away with saying that something was very high in gold when actually it wasn't and that was a terrible time and this is this is your audit this, this is, is your this physical is the audit. audit so if a company comes in yep. let's say a major company comes in dean we're interested in one of your projects they'll come through they'll log the core right and then they'll ask for 10 to 20 percent of our pulps to be re -assayed. okay to check that so you we're do not have to keep all up. this that's right we have another warehouse that has dead space that has all the pulps so What's every, the, pulp? the pulp, so when we take that sample from a rig, yeah. a couple kilos of sample, goes to the lab, gets crushed, yep. pulverized and assayed, yep. that pulp, which is about 200 grams of pulverized material, yep. is stored in boxes. And we have every okay. single pulp that we have ever drilled is there, because okay. those will get reassayed as part of an audit. For when wow, we so it is important to keep it. Very important. Wow. Things you didn't know by coming into a core shed in Western Australia. I want to keep educating all of you about the importance of what these guys do. I wasn't aware that they had to keep absolutely every course sample, and that's where it comes into importance. If they get a partner coming in, it's an audit trail for them.
Hope that helps you.